demonstration, I'd like to show the integration that's out of the box now with Business Central and Outlook. So if you imagine a scenario where you open your email and then you receive one, oh, this nice chap here would like to request some items. We'll see after. He wants an Athens desk, three Amsterdam lamps and two Berlin guest chairs. Now, typically you'd have to open Business Central separately, go through, create a quote, add the items to the quote manually. This new functionality allows you from within your Outlook to open up a pane into Business Central and Business Central automatically try and suggest the items that you want to add to a document. So clicking on the actions button up here and then go to Business Central. The first thing we can look at is Contact Insights. This allows us to see a 360 degree view of this particular contact. Now straight away it's recognized this contact doesn't exist in our Business Central installation. So I get the option to add it as a contact. So I can add myself, sorry, Stuart Hardman, uh, as a person and associate them with a company within Business Central. So I'm gonna click into here and I'm gonna the Adatum Corporation. So I click on that, click the tick, and then that person is then added as a new contact against that particular company in the system. At this point, it then allows me to see various pieces of information related to that particular company. So, you know, historical spend, which I can drill down on and see what those particular sales orders were made up of. Credit limit information, dimensions associated with them, any sort of number of different pieces of information. So, what I also want to do though is from this email, I would like to create a new document. I'm going to create a sales quote because that is what Stuart has requested. So I click on the sales quote option. The first thing it does is it connects up to Business Central. It then goes and looks at the email, goes through it and says, okay, what has he requested in this email that we need to add to a It's picked up Athens desk. Amsterdam lamp and Berlin guest chair all very successfully. It's also because it's in guest, it's picked up a second an additional line there, which I don't want. So I can select that one, delete the line, go ahead and delete. And then I can say, right, now I want to add all these lines to my quote. Click on the tick. It will go off and create me a quote. So here we can see these are the items, Athens desk, Amsterdam lamp and Berlin guest chair. It's also picked up the quantity because I put the quantity in the lines of the email. It knows how many I want of each of those. So brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted. From here, I can then say I would like to email this so I can send it by email. And this has all been done in Business Central, but through Outlook. So this then creates me a draft. So I can see here, I've got an email here, sales quote to myself with high level details. There's a total there and an attached PDF. I click on it, you can then see the details. So this is the three items that I requested from the email. And if I'm happy with that, I can then send that email off to the customer. And a few minutes later, I receive an email back from Stuart with the quote acceptance in. He's so massively impressed, he wants to accept it immediately. And this is another nice feature. Outlook and Business Central work together uh, and have context awareness within the system. So you can see where he's emailed quote 1004, it's picked it up and recognizes what it is he's referring to. So if I click on it, it immediately gives me a pop out view back into Business Central. So I can see the quote that's been sent through to Stuart and the items on it, and he said he wants to accept it. Fantastic. So the next step is from here, from this pop out window in Outlook, I can convert this quote into an order. Do you want to convert it? Yes, I do. And off it goes, and I've now got a new quote, a new order rather, in Business Central, 101005. It's given me a warning there about the inventory being lower, so I can then pass that on to my supply chain team to make sure they've got the appropriate levels of items in stock. So once that's been converted, just so we can go and have a look and see what's happened in the background, if I flip across to Business Central, then from here, I can go to my sales orders or return so we can click on the sales order queue down here. This and takes me in to see the list of sales orders. And you should see hopefully at the end here, 101005, the Adatum Corporation have opened that. And then see the order that's been quoted through Outlook and accepted and converted to an order through Outlook. I think that's a really nice piece of functionality.